Hello? Um... Not that. Okay. Ah. Uh, I'm just gonna change my charm before I forget, because I don't need greed anymore. Because I have enough money to buy the last thing <laughs> that exists. Um, this is what I was gonna get. Ah, oh, yeah, you can do that too. Ah. A little far away now. <laughs> Is it? Well, you teleported, but, um, where is that? Hmm. Hmm. I guess I could do that. All right. Um, but for opening topics, um, so the, so there's a game called Rhapsody, a musical adventure, which was made by, uh, NIS and all, it's like their first game actually, um, I think, and besides the fact that I just love all their games, um, and like, it's a legit musical. There's a cutscene at the very beginning, and the character just breaks out into song. I don't know of any other game that has like that. Because, <laughs> like, I know there's rhythm games, and some of them have story, even. But, like, in order to qualify as a musical, they need to have the story expressed through song instead of just, uh mechanical song stuff. Not the right house. I'll kill all these guys anyway. Yeah, but this guy doesn't come back. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> you have enough money. Yeah, I know. This is the door I was looking for. <laughs> right, yeah. Completely useless little detour here. Yeah, but it sounded funny. Flies. Yeah, it's not as funny as I was hoping. It's still kind of funny. Just swarm around you if you have the stink charm. Um, also, I looked up that this ghost is just a guy who says uh, that he's fat and he's been waiting for food for a long time. Like, it's nothing. <laughs> um, there's no spikes down there because the elevator's at the top. Oh, nice. Do they just follow me now? Ah, oh, that's even better. Uh, you are going up, actually. <laughs> I don't think they do anything. They're just aesthetic. Yeah, but it's pretty funny. So Rhapsody, a musical adventure, is, uh out on Steam now, and it was one of the games I was thinking about playing next, just because, I mean, it's a musical, it sounds amazing. <laughs> and I like all of their games. But, um, I don't know how let's playable it'll be, it also has nothing to do with this, genre-wise. Ah, uh, flies disappeared. Yeah. You don't comment on my stink. See, the elevator's at the bottom? Yes, you cannot go up through that. Alright then. <laughs> there's spikes. No, actually, there's not. I think that's the faster way to fall. Also, you should take it off the stink. Oh, yeah. I don't have to. 
I'm just going to Blue Lake. <laughs> He's like, I don't know how to react to this. <laughs> To live an age, yet remember so little, perhaps I should be thankful? All tragedy erased, I see only wonders. Oh, I need to take a bath. <laughs> Go on, to remove the stink? Yeah, it didn't work. <laughs> Again we meet, my short friend. I mean, if you're sitting down, or... I'm only slightly shorter than you. <laughs> uh, here at last, I feel at peace. Yeah, the Blue Lake is a pretty peaceful place. It is not, um, like the Spirit Glaive. Why is my cord? Eh, whatever. Um, here at last, I feel at peace. Twice I've seen this world, and th though my service may have stripped the first experience from me, I'm thankful I could witness its beauty again. You didn't get all your memory back? Like, well... He remembers a little bit, because he remembered the dreamer. I don't understand why he had to lose the memory. To forget that he had the key? Yeah, I don't know why he had the key. I don't know. Zoot precept? <laughs> yeah. Lock something, keep the key. Even though it seems like they intended for that to be permanent, so it seems odd. Um, Hollownest is a vast and wondrous thing, but with as many wonders as it holds, I've seen none quite so intriguing as you. How's that? Ha, my flattery returns only silent stoicism. I like that. I like that very much. Incredible. That's it. <laughs> I can't talk to him again. Yeah, so I had no idea what. <laughs> like, I don't feel bad looking up this achievement because it's like, well, I'm not gonna search the. Oh, he leaves his sword here. Was that sword here before? I don't think so. Was that his sword? I think so. <laughs> um, yeah, like, there was no indication of where I would find him or anything like that, so... Um... Like, I'm not gonna search the world for just... see if anything different is anywhere. Search, like, every single room for Mr. Mushroom and Coral and whoever else. So, yeah. This was a good time to look stuff up. <laughs> I remember the correct one! Sure. So there's a secret room in the spirit glade that I apparently didn't get to. No, I'm not gonna murder them. <laughs> uh, Revic? Is that what his name was? Revex ending dialogue is like super sad. <laughs> you can look it up if you want, but I'm not doing it. <laughs> but you have to see everything. I mean, I did see it. <laughs> that was the point of the little platform, was I was supposed to dream yellow statue. <clears throat> is this bluegrass? Eh, it still goes into pink petals. Well, this grass is green. Pink petals. I'll tell ya.
<laughs> Seriously, though. Um, you who pry into even the most hidden of dreams, take heed. Recorded within this shrine are utterings from another world. Though the words may seem strange, remember they come from minds different to ours. The minds of a group united in mysterious cause. To believe or disbelieve, the choice is yours. I don't want to dream nail you, but I don't know if you're a ghost or not. <laughs> Seems like it is. Okay, so this is the Shrine of Believers, which is apparently uh, just a list of all of the philosopher. Yeah, okay, so it's a list of all of the uh, Kickstarter backers, and apparently they have a quote. Someone does more than just help others in need. <laughs> so I guess the first line is their username? Murmuring Depths, maybe? I don't know. Or maybe they could put anything they wanted on these plaques and the first line isn't their username? The first... Hold on. That's clearly a username. Or a real name, I guess. Ditto. Anyway, breathe close upon the ashes, it may be flames will flare. Light and extinguish ember for one that you remember, and ten you forgot. Okay. This doesn't mean anything. This is random backer nonsense. <laughs> <laughs> Though all things must end, Hollow Nest will stand forever as a tomb of gods and bugs, a monument to all they have achieved. It's not in canon, stop analyzing it. <laughs> Stars and dust. The boundaries which divide life and death are at best shadowy and vague. Who shall say where one ends and the other begins? Are there going to be 2,000 of these? Because <laughs> I find that a little hard to believe. I mean, there's a lot. But are there more than the 57 precepts of Zote? Ah, <laughs> well, it looks like it. Ah, I don't know if I can handle this many plaques. Look at all oh, crap. You can break them. Look at all these plaques, some of which don't exist anymore. <laughs> Flax. Give the plaque a lot of flack. I didn't expect that to exit the dream. <laughs> I expected it to exit the room. <laughs> You're not gonna be able to touch that spike. I have to mess around. Otherwise. What good is it to play a game? You cannot bounce on it. Alright, well that was fun. Yeah, I don't know. It seems like a lot of commitment to read all these. How much time do I got? 15? So this will be the entire episode? Yeah. I mean... But you got an achievement, so it's technically not a filler. Yeah, it probably should be considered a filler, though. I mean, honestly, look at all these plaques. <laughs> Alright, well, I mean, you don't have to watch it, but... Uh, I don't want to spend all that throat energy, but I guess I will. <laughs> I'm not gonna bother pronouncing their names, though. <laughs> oh, come on, it's just, uh... Lin... Semouth? Lin Zemouth? Amy was a renowned writer in Hollow Nest. She was murdered by her own sister, Amone. If you see Amone, give her a hug. She hates hugs. Nice. <laughs> hmm, what's going on here? I'm not really sure, but I bet you can figure it out. Good luck. May your heart stay faithful and your will relentless. The sun will shine again. Do not fall prey to despair and do not be led astray. No time to rest, push past your best. 
you... <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Stop questioning their names. I just... The names sounded similar. Um, <laughs> we live in a time of achievement built by dreamers, believers, and those who had vision to develop the future. Dario, danger is all around you. All... Yeah, all that is not saved will be lost if the Nintendo quits. The Nintendo quit screen. It's pretty amazing. <laughs> we are stripped of history and heritage. Become this chosen king to bring forth light. People, that's like a top ten list of unintentionally profound quotes. Was the Nintendo quit screen? Everything not saved will be lost. <laughs> For like, was it the DS? No, it would have to be at least the 3DS or the Wii that first did that. That warned you that if you go back to the home screen that you're going to lose your progress. Um, maybe across Neil's in the afterlife, young knight, but not too soon. For there is much work to be done. I place hope in your future. Success. <laughs> There's a whole other line for success. <laughs> Alright, are we going to count these plaques? It's not going to be 2,000. Yeah, but are you going to count them? Three... Plus four is seven. One, two, three, four, five. Um, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Fine, be lazy. <laughs> Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. It's not gonna be two thousand. <laughs> um. An explorer and an artist until the plague took his dreams. Stripped of his soul, he walked into the land above, never to return. I'm guessing you had to be like a certain tier to get these. So it's not going to be like a full 2,000. Be the person you would like to meet if our life is but a spark in the eyes of gods. Let's Blind them at least once. <laughs> what? <it's, laughs> you'd need a lot of sparks for that. <laughs> I told you I was sick. Nice. <laughs> a dark past does nothing in the face. Well, a shrine of believers? Not necessarily a grave, but yeah, I guess these are supposed to be graves or something. Ah, it's not really established. It's non canon. Yeah. <laughs> A dark... <laughs> like it's officially from another world. Yeah. A dark past is nothing in the face of the ever-radiant potential of the present. <laughs> I can't help but analyze this, alright? Hold on. <laughs> uh, go, go, night, go, and don't ever let your past keep you from your dreams. Okay, but radiance is not necessarily a good thing in this game. <laughs> You can really do anything you set your mind to, just look around you. The Hollow Knight comes, wander through darkness and dread. Your legend is forged in shadow, Hollow Nest is calling. All hail the Hollow of the Night! Ah, that's a fancy name! Die <laughs> German, maybe? I don't know. <laughs> Have you ever heard of a being called the Oro? Rumor has it that it once roamed these dark caves, as terrifying as he may have been, he also fell to the Great Plague. He did not. <laughs> the Neo Master Oro is fine, and the one Steve limit requires there to be only one Oro. <laughs> the life of the night is ended by the strike. Was it 17? 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Carlo, you should never become fully hollow. With an O? Yeah. Is that a reference to Dark Souls? It's not canon, don't worry about it. Yeah, I know, but it's a, it's a crossover joke. <laughs> Where darkness spreads the with plague that looms in places where 
You find no moon below where it is always night. The land shall need a hollow. Wait for it. Night. <laughs> That's a pretty good poem. I like that. I think they intentionally split it into their line, which is unnecessary, but funny. <laughs> the word night, I mean, to the other page. Papa. We need more growth. Gotta get them gains. <laughs> when you are at a crossroads, be sure the path you choose is the right one to follow so that your destination won't have you regret the trip. Okay. 25, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Assisting Knight. He was the greatest warrior to never land the killing blow himself. <laughs> Instead, he sat by and let others enjoy the glory of victory with so much time passed, no one remembers his name. Zubug. <laughs> Can you feel the storm? It's coming. The collective lives on! This shrine is dedicated to four warriors. May their spirits rest in peace and their deeds never be forgotten. <laughs> it's just four of the five warriors? <laughs> Screw that fifth guy! <laughs> no, he's probably referring to like his family or something. Yeah. Four warriors. He might have a family of four. It seems, seems legit. <laughs> hey, Joni. Trust in yourself and you will succeed. Trust in people and you will prosper. It's not always true, actually. <laughs> Sometimes there are people that you should not trust. <laughs> Void the dark. Let your ha hardships strengthen you on your journey. The loved ones of Atra. Atra, we made it thanks to you. We will always remember you. Okay. Uh, 30. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. There's not going to be anywhere close to 2,000. Stop counting. I want to know how many there are. The wiki has that information. Probably does, but... I'm going to count them anyway. <laughs> It's about, it's all about not breaking when you're already broken. Just don't break twice, question mark? <laughs> Stiv, Ray, bro? Look at this world around you, isn't it beautiful? A wonderful world is a song by Juice Juice, it's pretty good. <laughs> this is a piece of cake. He said while eating a piece of cake. Mistake not the awesome and terrible majesty of the seas of ire. They are only shadow, uh, shallows fringing vast oceans of wrath. <laughs> um, okay. <laughs> Sparrow. No matter how hard the journey is, you only fail when you give up. No enemy can defeat the will of a strong warrior. I almost gave up on... <laughs> The Nightmare King, and I'm not even gonna bother attempting the the P5. <laughs> praise the light. Yeah, praise the sun. <laughs> Challenge the sun. The uh, what was that? Can't beat the power of the sun. The power packed power of the sun. Sunny D. Yeah. Uh, a mantis shunned for his deformed arms. His weapon of choice was a fearsome claw blade, yet he, as quickly as he came, he vanished. And his name was Claw. And he was in no way related to Inspector Gadget. Eight, nine, zero, one, two, three. I already counted this one. Jibs Monteef. Good luck, skeleton. That's definitely Dark Souls. <laughs> Dream. I mean, this is a Souls-like game. I'm not. It's, I mean, it's fine. <laughs> I'm a shade, so it's not that far off, I guess. <laughs> Look at this guy's last name, though. Guyan. 
Gwyn. Dream an endless dream of wonder and joy. I'm telling you, you're gonna make me want to listen to a Wonderful World. Nobody who steals our grubs shall live. <laughs> I already killed the collector and freed all the grubs. Hawk. No matter how dark your travel becomes, never lose the light in your unwavering spirit. <laughs> My dark spirit? I have a shade, bro. <laughs> I think it's referring to the player. <laughs> Um, sure. Could be referring to the player. All them inspirational words. What was it? Self-help. That's what I was looking for. Ever tried, ever failed, no matter. Try again. Fail again. Fail better. <laughs> Alright. I mean, I did have to make, um... The Hollow Knight fights interesting by equipping different, uh... Charms, even though it wasn't all that good idea for Radiance. <laughs> Wait, don't leave. I have snacks. Come on, you know you want to join me. Why else would you still be reading this plaque? And it's like, uh... Millibug. Buy my cookies. <laughs> Amidst the dark, how will your fire burn? Warm the weary? Guide the aimless? Shelter those without? You can define just how long and bright you burn. Malcolm Treadwell. Are they, like, I assume these are real names, but some of these people have cool names. <laughs> Lunar Lad? That's probably a username. <laughs> I would hope so. I'm not gonna name a child Lunar Lad. <laughs> um, I don't know, it could be foreign. Maybe it means something in a different language. <laughs> but, I mean, who doesn't want snacks? Snacks are great. Also, I like this Dream Seal lantern in the foreground. It looks really cool. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, zero. Eight, zero. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero. <laughs> You're gonna lose count. It's gonna be great. If my count's different than the wiki, I'm gonna assume the wiki had the correct count. <laughs> if the wiki has the count. Why does the wiki need the count? I don't know why I need the count. <laughs> Death unknown, the first of its kind to enslave a grand, uh, Gantrus. Return possessions to this point of found. Baron Robert Apples. <laughs> nice. <laughs> no. Not all roads are easy, but every road is worth travel. Uh, and that's not true. <laughs> there, are, like, there are some things that you shouldn't do in life, and are bad ideas. <laughs> uh, for who knows what you will find in doing such, but forget not where you started. I mean, it's fine to take risks and like try new things, but... You also have to recognize there are certain things that are, like, unhealthy. <laughs> I dream of times far brighter than now, but I am dead! <laughs> My memories will be of distant green lands long gone. <laughs> Monty Python and the Holy Grail. Maybe he carved it as he was dying. It's the rock. Ah! <laughs> Keep going, never falter. The light is always with you. Just like the Spirit Glade, there's tons of stuff to read here. <laughs> yeah, but it's not super late, and I don't have a super sore throat, so I can actually do it. It is a little late. Yeah, well. <laughs> the most merciful thing in the world is the inability of our insect minds to correlate all of their connect uh, contents. I don't know if I see how that's merciful. Because if you could understand it, then it wouldn't be, like, harmful to your mind. I guess there is some information that is bad for you. Uh, but it didn't... Hold on. <laughs> Stop analyzing it. I mean... <laughs> it's just talking about the connections between the contents, though, not the entire contents themselves. Stop analyzing it. All right. <laughs> 
And to think I nearly missed out on my reward. I probably was a late backer. Let this be a message of inspiration to all. Conquer the world and all within it. Good luck and goodbye. <laughs> goodbye and good luck is also a Juice Juice song. <laughs> or maybe he just didn't respond to putting in the message fast enough. And, well, I mean, obviously he eventually did. Uh, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There is no easy way from the earth to the stars. I, I assume that's supposed to be inspirational, but it's also like, you know, that space science fact. <laughs> A world lost to decay holds many secrets for one who is brave enough to find them. Is that a reference to the movie Brave? <laughs> the movie that had nothing to do with being brave? Yeah, but the last line. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so many secrets for those brave enough to find them. Or maybe it was... Well... I guess his Dark Materials series did end with like a long list of people who were talented enough and smart enough and whatever. Anyway, brave enough to find them. Or Lost of Decay, many secrets. I, I do agree. There was definitely secrets in this game, and uh, I needed to be brave, specifically for uh, Deep Nest, but yeah. Anxiety in places. My family is the most important thing to me. Nothing to analyze there. <laughs> Brave one, do not- I mean, but maybe he's lying, and it's sarcasm. That's true. Who knows? <laughs> anyway. Um, brave one, do not neglect your nail. If you treat it well, it will never let you down. But remember, a nail has no power unless the one who wields it has courage. Believe in yourself. Yeah. <laughs> Look, Alexia, I am here. I know. <laughs> Would have been so great if it was Alexia. <laughs> Tizo Spencer. So Tizo and Joni were two of them, so I don't know if those were uh, named after... I don't know which one was named after, the character or the plaque. Could be either way around. But anyway, seven, eight, nine, zero, one, two, three. Significantly less than 2,000. You don't say. Let's break them all. Why? Seemed like a good way to end the episode. Is it though? I mean, who doesn't like destroying stuff, right? <laughs> Plus, it's fun to destroy stuff with crystal art. Such destruction. <laughs> Is this your way of honoring those who believe? I did not expect him to react to it. I was just messing around. <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> I was going to make a joke on it, but I didn't expect him to actually react to it. Um, their riddles and ramblings may seem to us meaningless, or indecipherable, or grotesque. But if they did not believe, what would become of you and I? I mean, yes, I do appreciate all of the backers who made this game possible, because this is a good game. It's not my favorite game, but I definitely appreciate it existing. And lots of other people do, too. What, it's a cloud wall instead of cloud spikes? What? <laughs> Alright. <laughs> There's 63! And you need to know this why? What else was I supposed to do? This is... <laughs> I'll, I'll put it in the name of the episode, maybe? Exactly 63 random nonsense? Yeah, I mean, it's gotta be a reference to the Spirit Glade. Where I said exactly, uh... 
19 ghosts. <laughs> yeah, sure. I mean, whatever. Chicken wraps you off the list. I didn't talk about it enough. What else is there to say? Musicals are great. That's it. <laughs> I don't know how much I really like musicals, but I mean, sure. <laughs> Um... Check off the Shrine of Believers. You can make a joke about now I'm a believer. Yeah, from Shrek. Yeah. And waiting for a hero? Or... I need a hero, that's what it was. I did mention heroes on one of those plaques. Next is Deep Nest. That's not even close to here. Yeah, well, I have to do Mr. Mushroom in order. Yeah. Call this an episode with me laying here for ten hours. 